Hi all. So today we are going to see how to apply for an IPO uh, using Seroda. So I have logged into my Seroda account. And the next thing what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this portfolio. Okay, uh, when I click on portfolio, the bottom most I can see an option called IPO. I'm clicking on IPO and over here I'll be able to see the available uh, instruments uh, their start date their ending date and the price range at which I can apply for the IPO so in this particular case we are seeing Mujivan Mujivan Bank okay so the minimum quantity that I'll be having to apply that is for uh, the lot size that I'll be having to apply for is 400 in this particular case so now what I should be doing is I should be clicking on place bid. Okay, so I can see uh, details about the bank. Uh, sorry, details about the issue date. The last date of issue that is uh, today's second. So day after tomorrow is the last date. Number of shares that are going to be issued. The issue price. And we see that the issue price is between 36 and 37 market lot that is uh, the minimum quantity that i'll be having to place a bid for is 400 numbers tick size one uh, that is the what do you say the limits at which i can place order i can make a bid okay, there is no discount for this particular ipo so now what i should be doing is uh, my investor type is individual I am not a shareholder of the organizer or organization of or anything so I'm just an individual investor next thing I should be doing is I should be mentioning the quantity that is I can uh, place quantities in multiples of this 400 that is the lot size so I can play like 400 it can be 800 uh, it can be 1200 fine so I should be placing the quantity over here and the price at which I am willing to buy okay in this case we have two options one is 36 and the other one is 37 so 36 and 37 are the two uh, available choices we can do that and apart from that this okay this is just like the limit order this is just like the limit order that we place in the equity markets we are looking forward to buy uh, at the best price Okay, so the limit is 36. That means uh, I'm looking forward to purchase at 36 itself. Okay, so if I'm keeping a cutoff price, this kind of, uh, what do you say? Yeah, it's going to be somewhat like the market order that we place in the case of stocks. Fine. So I can do that. Uh, I can mention the price. So let's say I'm keeping a price of, let's uh, say 36. Okay. And the amount that will be locked will be 14,400. 14,400 I should be having uh, with me. In the sense, uh, I should be having this money in my DMI, uh, in my bank account. And this money is going to be uh, frozen. So over here, uh, I am able to enter a UPI ID. So let's say if you want Paytm, uh, okay, Paytm is not there. So let's say whatever you UPI ID you are using, uh, let it be Google Pay or something, like you'll be having a UPI ID followed by some at okay ICICI, at okay HDFC. So depending on that, you can use your UPI ID to perform or to apply for this IPO. Okay, so uh, the time is between 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And right now it's 10 20 and I won't be able to apply now but tomorrow as the market uh, as as it when it becomes 10 I'll this will be open for app play so that's the advantage that I have if I'm a Saroda user in this uh, like I can just click over here I can uh, agree to this and and I will also be having to verify my uh, what do you say my UPI ID that is whichever UPI you are using or whichever, uh, whichever UPI you are using you will be having to click on that open the UPI app and you will also have to accept uh, the payment for the IPO application from your mobile application 
if you're not getting an allotment you'll be getting a full refund of your money and your money will be locked uh, till the allotments are out so after that you'll be receiving your money so it's just that your money is going to stay locked that's it okay so that is the thing with uh, Seroda and it's pretty straightforward in the sense you can directly apply through your uh, what do you say what do you call it? yeah kite application web browser now if you are an upstocks user what you should be doing is you have to log into your kite account okay uh, I'm, I'm actually I'm uh, I feel that all of you are aware that you also have a backend access to the uh, RKSV account so this is the account like I'm not showing you my account details okay so the website is keystone.upstocks.com now on the right hand side you have an option to click on my profile now when you click on my profile uh, and you scroll down you see something called as linked DMAT accounts now in this linked DMAT accounts you see uh, the name of your broker so upstocks is nothing else but RKSV securities uh, that is the parent company and the time uh, type the depository uh, type is CDSL the DPID is one two zero eight one eight zero zero so this is uh, the ID of upstocks and your personal account number is double zero one okay this is mine double zero one four seven five nine one okay now what you can do is now what you should be doing is you should click on your net banking okay and uh, if you are planning to uh, apply for an IPO through upstocks or some other broker should take out this DPID and account number of your uh, from your portal so this should be noted first then the next thing what you should be doing is you should have a net banking account okay so we are going to apply through net banking so you should also have a net banking account with any of these bank accounts let's say Allahabad bank so there are li many list of uh, banks that are providing this facility okay I guess most of them are here as well and I don't know if there are some banks that has been missed out in this particular case Allahabad bank Andhra bank like many banks are there so Indian bank SBI yes bank okay so we'll see with Indian bank okay so next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out my net banking go to open my net banking account so I'll just show you with Indian bank yeah Indian bank dot net dot in I'm going to log into my uh, account so just clicking for login for net banking now I had just logged into my bank account and banking account so first of all what you should be doing is you should uh, there's an option called value added services and I suppose that it is under the other services or value added services in all the net banking accounts okay so there is something called as ASBA so click on ASBA the value added services uh, click on the first one so there is an option to add an account so in this name the investor name is Harry Prasad uh, okay we were looking at up stocks so the depository name is CDSL so if it is CDSL I hope you can see my screen uh, the DPID see we see a DPID 1208 uh, 12081800 Okay, the DPID of uh, upstocks okay, so that should be entered first so I should be entering my client ID first the DPID uh, which is a eight digit number followed by the account number which is another eight digit number okay 
so these values should be entered followed by your PAN card mobile number all these things click on submit so submit button okay so I already have a DPID with the same same uh, detail so that's why is uh, showing DPID already access okay so now you'll be able to see this over here uh, that this is there that is already you have added this next thing I'm going to apply for an IPO okay so first thing to do so is, is going to be the same with all the net banking uh, sites all the net banking uh, websites of different banks okay so generate an application number uh, select the company name it's not being displayed right now uh, select the category so it is individual investor uh, it will be IND click on the client name that you have added so my case is Haripasa okay so you'll be able to uh, view additional details about the company and all over here then you can click on submit button so that is the process what is going to happen is that over here is 400 uh, is the lot size 400 quantity and there's a minimum uh, the price band is also mentioned like depending on case to case it is going to vary the lot size the price range things are going to vary so that much amount of money will be locked in your account for till the time of allotment so that is what is going to happen so if you are getting an allotment uh, the stocks will come in your DMAT account you can view them under your holdings in your DMAT account if you are not getting an allotment then what is going to happen is that uh, you'll be getting uh, the locked money will be unlocked now it will be free to use okay so that is the process of uh, applying for an IPO I hope is uh, kind of clear to all of you right now so 36 if I'm mentioning the price is 36 the amount that I should be paying is 14,400 if it is 37 it is 14,800 okay so thank you so you can just mention in the comment section below if you have any doubts I'll get back to all the comments as soon as possible and thank you uh, just have a study about whichever stock you want to apply for an IPO so this is not any recommendation or anything so this is just a demonstration of how to apply for an IPO and we have also seen how to find out the DPID in up stocks uh, you had to log into keystone.rksv.upstocks.com uh, keystone.upstocks.com click on my profile on the bottom portion you'll be able to see the link dmat accounts okay now in the case of seroda as well you'll be able to do this uh, this way through net banking also you can do but it's much more convenient to directly use a, a upi i guess that's much much easier for all of us and if you want to see your dpid once again you can just click on uh, click on your profile and in profile there is a, a section called dmat you can uh, see it over there as well okay so thank you please let me know if you have any doubts in the comment section below thanks